Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. Hi. How was your weekend? Mm, fine. Fine. Relax. Relaxing, right? <laughs> yes. Nice. Now, what do you do now that you have a lot of free time? <laughs> mm, I... Well, you work, right? You're working. Uh, yes. Ah, but okay. mm -hmm. uh, today I was studying. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I did exercise. Ah, nice. Um, I don't know my day. Estuvo bastante ocupado. <laughs> it was very busy. <laughs> yes. All right. But yeah, the good thing is that we are at home <laughs> and we need to yes. take care of ourselves, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Hi, Marie. Hi, uh, Luis. Marilena Hi. and Luis. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Um, yeah, fine. Good. Excellent. And you? I'm okay. How was the weekend, people? Uh, sleep. Um, <laughs> en la casa, no sé cómo es. You were in the house? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. Cooking. Um, dry clean my house. Okay. Nice, uh -huh. nice. And uh, did you do anything interesting? Because now we have a lot of free time, so we need to see what we can do, you know? <laughs> And Luis, mm -hmm. how was the weekend? I was working. Oh, you I'm were working? working. Yeah, oh. from, from my house. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. The same thing. And on, <laughs> yeah, I got to do it. And my free time, I was, how can I say, haciendo un huerto. Ah. Doing a... Preparing a, a, let me see that word. Yeah, I know, I know. I have it in the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember. Okay. It, it is not a garden, it's something different. Uh, it's, ah, yeah, it's a vegetable garden, okay? A, a vegetable, vegetable garden. garden, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's okay. like, the, like the, yeah, that's a, the easiest way to call it. Or a kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. Catch? Kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. Kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, or vegetable garden. Yeah. And what are you planting? Chile verde. Ah, pepper. Pepino. Yeah, pepper. Uh, pepino. Cucumber. I don't know how to say it in English. Cucumber. Yeah. And I'm trying to, to find more seeds. Right now ah, with okay. some family, yeah, with my family. Nice, nice. It's nice that you have a space for that because at least in my house, I don't have a space for that. But it would be a nice project, you know? Now we have uh, some free time and that we work from home. Maybe we can have more time to do different things, right? In my case, I was working the whole weekend because I have to prepare a lot of classes. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, it was, it was nice. I was working from home. I was like trying to work with my time. And at the end, I think I did a nice job. And yeah, we are going to practice in a couple of minutes. We're going to wait for a couple of more. Okay. And just let me, give me some time because I need to access to the platform, okay? And uh, we will discuss some things that were happening there by the way did you have any problems people with any exercise on the test that you had to do over the weekend did you find anything uh, that you didn't understand because i want to check that with you just in case you had a doubt or you had a question about one of the exercises that we have in section number three. So just give me a second. No, I know, but um, finished. Ah, you finished no. that. Three. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. That's nice. 
Did everybody finish that part? Saida and Marilena, did you finish and Luis? No, today I start the section four. Ah, okay, but yeah, I mean that's what we're that that's what we're talking. That if you completed the 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 midterm test. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I think it was pretty pretty easy. You had a lot of exercises. You, uh, yeah, they were like seven, but most of them were like multiple choice, and I think that was easy to get. Sometimes the problem is when you have to write because sometimes you write something extra, you know, or something else is going on there. But yeah, I think in your case it was really very easy. You had to click on the on the correct option, and I think that was science. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to start. Just in case you have a question, you can ask me at the end. Okay. But I think everybody uh, finished that part. So we're going to begin, okay? So welcome back. Thank you so much for uh, making the time to be here. And we will continue practicing English with you guys, okay? Um, just, mm, I wanted to share the same information that Jonathan shared with you on the group. Remember that we're going to finish on April the 3rd. Let me see. April the 3rd, I think that is Thursday. Oh no, we are going to finish on April the 2nd. The classes finish on April, sorry, in, yeah, in April the 2nd. And then you will have until uh, April the 3rd to finish the, the course, okay? Remember that you need an 80%. Recuerde que tiene que tener por lo menos un mínimo de 80%. Eh, para poder este, terminar el curso y que, se le, y que se le pueda asignar o que se le facilite el siguiente, el siguiente módulo. Okay. Eh, ya nos vienen quedando dos semanas, ya llegamos a la mitad. Entonces, eh, siempre la recomendación es tratar de trabajar antes eh, lo que estaríamos haciendo acá y luego solo se quedan con los ejercicios eh, para que los puedan hacer después de la clase o los puede hacer antes y así clarifica cualquier duda que usted tenga. Okay. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh -huh. um, el progreso podemos uh -huh. verlo y cómo lo podemos ver en la plataforma porque yo he hecho las cosas, sin embargo, pues las he hecho varias veces algunas uh -huh. y necesito pues ver cómo voy. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, le voy a mostrar eso. Okay. Um, ¿Usted lo hace desde su teléfono o desde la computadora? Ambos. Ambos, ah, ok, perfecto. En la computadora es un poco más fácil porque ah, cuando usted pensado. entra y está dentro del curso, ahí está haciendo los diferentes ejercicios, acá arriba dice progreso. Ah. Entonces cuando usted le da ahí, automáticamente puede ver eh, los ejercicios que ha hecho eh, de las actividades de las clases el equipo puede ver el porcentaje eh, el porcentaje del, del, de lo, del, del examen ¿okay? por lo menos acá el examen, eh, si usted ya lo hizo aquí va a haber una gran barra que dice cuánto tuvo o cuál qué porcentaje tuvo del del, 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 eh, del examen ok Entonces, igual, cada ejercicio tiene su, su ponderación, eh, cada parte tiene su ponderación, y aquí va a ir viendo cómo se va moviendo esto. Yo, yo no veo mucho movimiento porque casi no los he hecho. Solamente hago en los, que, en los que veo problemas, o por lo menos trato de hacer uno o dos, solo para asegurarme de que lo que está en la clase está en la plataforma. ¿okay? Entonces, por eso no lo ve, pero en el midterm aquí va a haber el, el, el otra barrita por acá. Y... Eh, hasta el final usted ve el total. Por lo menos en mi caso yo tengo solamente un 3% de, de, de progreso en estas dos semanas. ¿okay? Entonces acá se le, se le va juntando y cuando usted, creo que lo que más cuenta en realidad, de hecho es lo que más cuenta es el examen final y el midterm. Pero más que todo el examen final. 
Porque cuando usted lo hace, porque digamos antes de hacer el final, usted va a ver que ha hecho todo, ¿verdad? Pero el total uh -huh. no va a ver que suba mucho. Entonces, uh -huh. el problema está que tiene que hacer el examen final. Media vez usted haga el examen final, va a ver cómo se levanta eso de repente. ¿okay? Y puede hacer que ella esté cerquita del 80%, porque incluso hay una línea ahí que lo divide. Para que usted esté sabedora más o menos este, de qué tanto le hace falta. Entonces, ajá. Ahí todo está que, o sea, la recomendación siempre es hacer todos los ejercicios, no dejar ninguno vacío. Porque puede hacer que eh, en el examen haya algo difícil o algo que no comprenda y pues fácilmente lo puede dejar. Y tal vez dejando uno o dos, una o dos oraciones, usted puede llegar al 80% sin ningún problema. ¿Ok? Igual, si puede llegar al 100%, mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Pero como requerimiento es por lo menos tener un 80% para pasarlo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ya, yeah, no problem. Ok, no problem. Hi, Pedro. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Uh, fine. I, I forgot. <laughs> The little minute. Ah, you forgot that we had classes. <laughs> because it's the, uh, the, the study of the king and the Netflix. It's a, ah, it's a good time. Ah, okay. <laughs> so so you, were, you were relaxing and, and enjoying the TV show. <laughs> Are you watching it in English or in Spanish? Uh, it's the two, the two four, but I prefer it in, in Spanish. By my son prefers in English. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. It is better. Yeah, I think it is better. Because, uh, the black list, you, yeah, the black you, list get, too. You, you get to practice listening and also some phrases, you remember some phrases, and I think that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, welcome and welcome, everybody. We're going to start, okay? Um, we're going to review a couple of things that probably you have seen in a couple of, in a couple of modules before. Vamos a repasar un par de temas que probablemente eh, los vieron en temas en módulos pasados. Pero me interesa que los manejemos para que no se nos complique. Ok. Ya ahora vamos a ir un poco más despacio. Porque ya, tenimos, ya teníamos que cubrir las primeras tres secciones en las primeras dos semanas. Ya las cubrimos. Por lo que ahora vamos a ir un poco más despacio y vamos a tratar de practicar un poco más. Ok. So, uh, to begin, we are going to start with places. Ok. Uh, we are going to describe some places according to their geography. Uh, basically, we are describing places uh, that exist because of nature, okay? Uh, because nature basically has created them, okay? For example, we have a beach, okay? Beach, desert, desert, forest, forest. Hill, hill, island, island. In this case, it is very important that we don't pronounce the letter S. La letra S acá no la decimos, sino que nada más decimos island, island. No decimos island, porque island eh, es incorrecto, solo se dice island. Okay, así como se dice iPhone, island. Okay, island. Lake, lake, creo que eso todo el mundo se lo puede, lake, uh, mountain, mountain, igual en ese caso omitimos la A y la I, hacemos como que esas dos letras no existen a la hora de pronunciarlo, mountain, ok, hacemos como un quiebre entre la T y la N para poder pronunciar eso correctamente, mountain, mm -hmm. mountain, ocean, ocean, River, river, valley, valley, valley. Volcán. volcano, 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 and waterfall. Okay, waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to try to uh, place all those words in this uh, little picture that I have here. I think you have seen this on the platform, but you don't have an exercise in which you are connecting uh, the words to the picture, okay? So I thought, oh, yeah, that could be a good idea so that they can see what the real uh, meaning of the word is, okay? Um, let's see. Um, let's start with the first one, okay? 
Over here we have something that is very tall and it has some snow at the top. What do you think is this? Mm -hmm. Mountain. Mm -hmm. Mountain, okay. Mountain. mountain. Mm -hmm. Repeat, mountain. Mm -hmm. Mountain, okay. Mountain. I know that that's a very tricky uh, pronunciation. Believe me, even American people pronounce it differently because they say the words very fast. So they say mountain, okay? And you don't even notice when they pronounce the A and the I because they don't say that one. It, it, is, like, uh, it is like you don't pronounce it, okay? It is like a T and an N, like you, when you say aren't, but in the opposite, okay? It is very weird, but what you can do is try to practice it as much as you can, mountain, okay? Mountain, that's the pronunciation. Uh, then we have something similar to a mountain, but it has some lava at the top. So what volcano. do you think it is? Uh -huh. Volcano. Okay, volcano. Uh -huh. Volcano. All right. Then we have something similar to a mountain, but it is smaller. What do you think is this? Welcome to one more section. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think is this? Hill. Hill. It's okay. a hill. Hill. Excellent. Okay. So hill, basically, it is a mountain, but it is a smaller. Okay. It is a hill. Okay. For example, a hill is something that you can climb and that you can go to the top very quickly. And then you go down. Okay. That is a hill. Um, uh, how, can you find the word in Spanish for hill? Because montaña is very big, you know? And hill, what would it be? Colina. A colina, okay, perfect, okay. So it is smaller, it is shorter, okay. And you can go up and then you can do, go down, okay. Uh, at the top or at the bottom, we can see, um, yeah, at the very end, we can see a lot of water. What do you think is this? Ocean. Uh huh. The ocean. Okay. The ocean. Which are the oceans that we have in the world? Can you tell me the names of the oceans? In English, we say the opposite. Remember, for example, the one that is in front of um, in front of El Salvador, that would be the Pacific, right? The Pacific. Yeah. So that will be Pacific Ocean. Okay. You need to say the name first, and then you, you need to say the name of the object. So Pacific Ocean, what is the other ocean that we have? Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean, uh-huh. Uh -huh. What is another ocean that we have? Arctic Ocean. Antarctic Ocean, uh-huh. Yeah, we can say the Antarctic, uh-huh. Another one? Caribbean is, it is yeah. Ocean. yeah, the Caribbean, it can be, uh, yeah, the Caribbean can be, it can be a, a different, a different uh, brand, a different branch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What else? Over there by, nearby Egypt, what is the one that we have? Mm -hmm. Mediterranean Ocean, okay. That is another one that we have, and so on, okay. So basically that's the big part of water that we call ocean. And then we have um, the other part that has a part of land and also a part of water. How do you call that? We have a lot of this in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. It is a part of Water and also it's a part of land. Mm -hmm. Desert. No, a desert doesn't have uh, water. Island? Island. Ah, mm, yeah. An island. Yeah, an island is this one. Like it is in the center, you know? In an island. Lake. Uh -huh. island. Uh, this is an island. Mm -hmm. So this is like when you see the ocean, yeah. When you go to, beach. yeah, the beach, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Like La Libertad, you know, a place from, from where you don't see another part to the other side, 
you don't see land, okay? Ahí ya no vemos eh, tierra para el otro lado, sino que es solamente water, water, and water, okay? Um, yeah, that's basically the beach, okay, the beach. Um, let's see. Then we have a lot of trees, you know? We have a lot of trees. What do you think? Forest. Okay, forest. That, uh -huh, that is a forest. Uh -huh. That is a forest. Then uh, we have water coming from the mountains. Water coming from the mountains. Uh -huh. A river. A river. Uh -huh. A river. What is a famous river here in El Salvador? Lempa. Ah, Lempa River. Excellent. Okay, Lempa River. Mm -hmm. And then we have the water. Uh, we have the water falling from a high space. Water uh, falling from a high, high, high space. So, what do you think is that? The lake. Yeah, but this uh, this type of water that is coming from the top to the lake. Cascada. Yeah, cascada. That would be water. What are you saying? Waterfall. Uh huh. Waterfall. Waterfall. Uh huh. So it is like water that is falling. Okay, that's why they call it waterfall. Uh huh. Waterfall. Okay, like a caída de agua. Okay. Mm -hmm. Waterfall. Mm -hmm. Waterfall. And well, we said the one in the center, we said that it is an island, okay? Because it, it is a very, very short or a very, very small part of land that we have over here, that that's an island. And then we have a circular uh, amount of water that would be the lake. The lake, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. The lake. We're right here. And we have sitting up alone. Yeah, we don't have cactus over there, so that will be the desert. Okay. Over here we have some water, but see, um, in some places we have a lot of cactus. And uh, when we have cactus, some people call it a desert. Okay, so we, we will uh, we will find that part as well. Also, I have a valley over here. Valley, that would be a valle, okay, valley, okay, valley. So it is like a, like a, it is like a field. It is like a campo, right? A valley. Mm -hmm. However, we have some trees, but we have less trees. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see. Uh, Pedro, can you tell me some examples of volcanoes? Or can you tell me some names of volcanoes? Remember, you need to tell me the name and then the, the word volcano. For example, Santa Ana's volcano. What are some other volcanoes that you know? Volcano in the uh, Ilamatepec volcano. Mm -hmm. Another one? Uh, in the. Um, in, the uh, in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, we have which one? Uh, in the past, Guatepeque Lake is in the past, is a volcano too. Oh, okay, yeah, that one was a volcano, uh-huh, okay, yeah. In the San Salvador, volcano in San Salvador. Yeah, uh-huh, and in San Miguel we have another volcano, which is that one. Mm -hmm. Which is the volcano that we have in San, Sal in, in San Miguel, sorry. In San Miguel. Or in the in the east part of the country. Do you remember Chaparrastique? Or is ah, it? Uh -huh. That yeah. is Hello I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, but it's but it's in the east, in the east of the of the country. Okay. <laughs> uh, also we have a mountain, okay. Yeah, we have a lot of mountains in El Salvador. Actually, that's one of the best parts of El Salvador that we have a lot of mountains. What about forests? Cerro Verde too. Yeah, exactly. Cerro Verde is a nice mountain. Okay. El Pital is, El, El Pital is an, a very tall mountain. Okay. Uh, Luis, can you tell me some names of forests that we have? Some names of 
Let me see. Virginia. No, I don't know. Yeah, we have. Yeah, is, Pital, yeah, we have, we, yeah, we have some parts. Trifinio, that are, teacher. Yeah, we have Trifinio Forest. We Monte also have Cristo. Monte Cristo Forest. Uh huh. We also have an Imposible Forest. Okay. Yeah, those are very very common forests. Uh, let's see, Maria Elena. Do you know uh, we said Rio Lempa or Lempa River? Do you know any other names of rivers that we have in El Salvador? Hiboa River. Okay, Hiboa River. Pass River. Pass River. Uh -huh. um, other? Sumpul. Sumpul River. Okay. Sumpul River. Um, mm -hmm. um, Aselwater. <laughs> <laughs> Aselwater River. Yeah, that exists. Yeah. <laughs> Momento, fue. Yeah, in a moment, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, island. Do you know any island, Pedro? The country? Um, in, the, in the lake, have a little island. I don't remember. Is yeah, in, in Cuatepec. Cartagena Island? In which one, Marilena? The Sahara Island? Where is that? La, La Paz, the Sahara. Ah, okay. I don't know that one. I know Conejo, um, Conejo Island, right? Muchas islas ahí en La Paz. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. I know Conejo Island, right? The one that is like... Conejo Island. Uh -huh. Ay, la Sahara, la Colorada, ah. um, la Calzada, um, este, en, en, en Puerto del Triunfo está Madre Sal, Ah, you know, de you know El Salvador more than us. <laughs> Do you know any waterfalls, people? Do you know any waterfalls in the country? Suchitoto. Eh, oh yeah, Suchitoto waterfall. Also in 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 Huayu, uh, we have uh, in the West Japan. Salto in Santa Maria Ustuma waterfall. Okay, nice. Uh huh. Yeah, there are there are a lot of waterfalls, but their names are a little weird, right? I remember another one, but I had it in my in my in my cell phone. I I had a picture of a lot of waterfalls that we have here, and actually they look very nice. I think the most common one and the most famous is uh, Niagara Falls. Okay. But in that mm -hmm. case, they call it only fall, not waterfall. They call it Niagara Falls, uh -huh. falls in plural. Mm -hmm. All right, and deserts? I don't think we have a lot of deserts here in the country, do we? No, we don't, we don't have any. And lakes, yeah, we have a lot of lakes, right? Okay, so those are some, uh, the, some places that we, that we know in the country. And actually, we are going to do an exercise later about this. So you need to know a little bit about the country, okay? You need to know a little bit about the, the rivers that we have, the forests that we have, the volcanoes. So maybe for the following classes, you can think about some information about forests that are nearby your house or close to your house, or islands or waterfalls that are near your house because you're going to give us a class or you're going to explain to us some information, some important information about these places, okay? And by the way, uh, we forgot to say or to mention beach. Remember that one? Uh, we have a lot, right? Like El Tunco Beach, we have La Libertad Beach, etc. We know a lot of beaches from, from, uh, from our country, right? So think about that because for the future, we are going to use it, okay? We are going to use it. All right, um, over here, I have a little conversation. I'm sorry because of the color, but in the platform, it was like really similar, but I think you can see it, okay? And I hope you can see it. Let's see. Um, we are going to remember about the uses of uh, comparative adjectives, okay? 
So uh, we're going to do a couple of practices so that you can remember a little information about the, the comparative adjective, okay? So I'm going to begin. I'm going to do Mike and Wendy. Here is a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Mm, I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What is the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Okay, here's the hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which uh, South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay? We are going to practice. Let's see. Pedro, you are going to be Mike. And Marilena, you are going to be Wendy. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the American? Mm, I think it's uh, the Mississippi. Uh, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito or Bogota? Oh, that is easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, the highest, excellent. Thank you. Now, Luis, your mic, and I am Wendy, okay? Okay. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question, which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the, in the Americas? Mm, I think the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which, which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or, or Bogota? Mm, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, um, we're going to have a little discussion, okay? And I want to know your point of view. I want to know your points of view, people. Let's see, the first one, cats versus dogs. Which one do you prefer and why, okay? I need you to tell me a complete, complete <coughs> sentence. So let's see, cats and dogs, which one do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Marilena, which one do you prefer? I love the dogs. You love dogs. the dogs, why? Uh, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I don't like cats. You don't like cats? <laughs> All right, but there should be a reason, you know? There should be a reason. Uh, for example, why? Is the reason. Yeah, but I why? Like. Yeah, but why? I mean, there should be there should be a detail because of you don't like him that. Uh huh. No, me too. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Pedro, cats versus dogs. What do you think? I prefer that dog. Mm -hmm. I like that dog. Uh huh. Why? <laughs> um, because for the defender, uh, ah. more, free, more friendly for me, is my opinion, for friendly because uh, I remember in the, in the past, uh, uh, in the boy, all, all in my home exists uh, um, a dog, different 
a kind of dog and I prefer. Okay, okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's see, Luis, what do you think? Cats and dogs, which one do you prefer and why? Okay, just a question. Mm -hmm. How do you say inconditional? Inconditional. Inco inconditional? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I prefer those because there are inconditional love or how can mm -hmm. I say it? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, they, they give inconditional love. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, in this case, in this case, it's because they're they give inconditional love. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, in my case, I think I like cats because, <laughs> uh, you know, they sleep all day and that's nice. Uh, they don't bark. Okay, ladrar. <laughs> they don't bark. Okay. And uh, I don't think I need a security guard, so I think I'm okay. The only problem that I have is that I cannot go outside with my cat, <laughs> okay? If I had a dog, I think I could do that. But with a cat, it is impossible to do that. <laughs> All right, let's see. The next one, the beach versus the mountain. The beach versus the mountain, okay? Which one do you prefer and why? Let's see. Uh, Pedro, what do you think? The beach versus the mountain. I prefer the beach because for the people, the sun, and the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, I like this um, um, calm my my body, my my mind too. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, good. Let's see, um, Luis, what do you think? I love mountain because I can connect with the nature and the beach is very hot. I don't like the, the Ah, okay, the, the beach is the very sunny hot. Sunny days and hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, that, those are good reasons. And finally, Maria Elena, what do you think? It's different. Mm -hmm. um, in the mountain, I know. Me la puso difícil. You like to go to the, the to the places, to the two places. Yes, to the place. Like. Ah, okay. But if I tell you, okay, Maria Elena, let's go out tomorrow. Where do you want to go? To the beach or to the mountain? Choose one. Uh huh. Tomorrow, the mountain. The mountain. Ah. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, my city is very hot. Ah, okay. Okay. Nice. So if you go to the beach, it's like the same, right? So you say, no, let's go to the mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. The next one. Pizza versus hamburger. Pizza versus hamburger. Let's see, Luis, what do you think? I love hamburger. You love hamburger, why? Let me see, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the case, I love tocino. I can say tocino or there's a... Yeah, there's a word, can it. you can say bacon. Uh -huh. Bacon, okay, yeah, it's bacon. bacon. Yeah. Ah, you like I, bacon? I love the. Okay. Yeah, I like I like bacon. I love it. So you like the combination of meat and bacon, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds I, good. I, I like it. Okay, nice. Let's see, Pedro. What do you prefer? My family prefer the uh, the pizza and mm -hmm. the gourmet pizza because combinate the. Uh, and meat and vegetables um, and cheese too. Um, I, I like, we like. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. And Marielena, which one do you prefer? I prefer hamburger. Uh huh. Why? Without ketchup. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't like ketchup. Uh, you don't like you don't like ketchup. 
No. So you don't like the tomato sauce in the pizza? Uh, yes, I like tomato pizza, but uh -huh. no all uh, the, the sweet, the, the um, yeah, the sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay. So you don't like you don't like pineapple pizza? No. <laughs> yeah, like that. Food? No, no, thank ah, you. Ah, okay. No, yeah. I don't like. So you don't like, for example, uh, Hawaiian pizza? No, I don't like. Yeah, or I you know, I know some people that they do some kebabs, you know, pinches kebabs, with uh, with pineapple too. No, no, <laughs> I don't like pineapple. But you don't uh, like the combination. Uh, uh, como se, como, uh, o sea, como, uh, no, 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 no. Like yeah, it. the same happens to me. I like pineapple. I love pineapple. But it Fresh. is, yeah, yeah, but, but I don't like it with meat. I don't like it with mm -hmm. salty things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, the, those are different opinions that we have. Okay, perfect. Um, so, excuse so, me. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. tell me. Yeah, and what about this uh, with yuca? Is ah, yuca the correct word? Yeah, yuca, because, yeah, you can say yuca or cassava. That's another word that we have in English for yuca. But you can say yuca, and actually you write it with double C, yuca. Uh -huh. Okay. With double C. Uh -huh. okay. Ah, pizza with yuca. Hmm. That's that's yeah. new for me. Where do you yeah, buy? I that? know. Uh -huh. I know a place in here in Santa Ana, Chalchapa. The ah. place called the Portal. Yeah, the Portal. Yeah, I have I have yeah. heard about that place. Pizza de yuca. Yeah. yeah. Is it delicious? Yeah, it's delicious. And what else do you have uh, uh, more than yuca? What else? The, the, the base is yuca. Or the, the dough. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, how do you say masa? Dough, uh-huh. The, 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 uh, the, the base, and the base, uh -huh. the pizza oh, okay. is yuca. It will be dough, okay? And the pronunciation is dough. Dough. <laughs> like that. Dough, uh-huh. Dough. The pizza is the pizza. Uh -huh. uh -huh. How do you say? Yuca is the same thing. Yuca, but with double C. Yuca. And the other word? Ah, yuca. Uh -huh. And the other word is cassava. Cassava. How do you spell that? Cassava, sorry. Cassava. Double S. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me, let me give an answer so that you can see it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yuca or cassava. That's another word that we have for for yuca. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, masa you call it do. Uh -huh. Do. Okay. Uh -huh. So the do is made of yuca, not not uh, not bread. It's yuca. Correct. Ah, okay. Interesting. Hmm. You said in Chilechuapa, right? Yeah. Ah, we, we we need to visit Chalchuapa people, <laughs> okay, and, and and taste the the the, the yuca pizza, <laughs> okay, perfect. So uh, this is important because I want I want you to remember how to compare the two things. Uh, over here, it is important that we use comparative adjectives, okay. So I'm going to give you one more time a little class about comparative adjectives because I can see that maybe you forgot, but maybe when you see the topic, you're going to be like, ah, yeah, I remember, <laughs> but I forgot how to use it, okay? So we're going to see a couple of things about uh, comparative adjectives, but uh, today, well, not today, I don't think we're going to be able to start that, but on the next, but tomorrow, I think we are going to do both, comparatives and superlatives, okay? Comparatives and superlative adjectives, because we're going to see how to compare uh, two things or a group of things, okay, using comparative and superlative adjectives. So first, I want you to analyze and I want you to remember about the, syllab uh, the, yeah, the syllables that we have in English, okay, syllables, mm -hmm. the syllables that we have in English. So how do syllables work? Uh, in English, syllables work with sounds, okay? They are, not in, they are not the same as in Spanish that you divide a word by uh, in pairs, you know? 
no funciona igual como en español, que, lo, que por veces se, se, se dividen como en parejas, sino que en inglés se, se, se trabaja como eh, por sonidos, se divide por sonidos, ¿ok? Entonces hay unas palabras que tienen one syllable, que tienen una sílaba, es decir, que solo es un sonido. Hay otros adjetivos, otras palabras que tienen two syllables, es decir, dos sonidos o dos fuerzas de voz. Y hay unos que tienen tres o más, ¿ok? Three or more. Entonces vamos a hacer este pequeño ejercicio ahorita, solo para identificar cuáles son los que tienen uno, cuáles son los que sí tienen dos, para que las otras clases sean más fáciles de entender, ¿ok? Así que aquí tengo un par de eh, adjetivos. Let's see. Big. Cuando One, se dice big, ¿cuántas fuerzas de voz hace? Big. One. Ah, one. Ok. Entonces, this is one syllable. Ok. Voy a poner con el mismo color para que nos, para que nos podamos entender. Modern. Modern. Two. Uh -huh. Ajá. Two. We have two, two syllables. Ok. Two syllables. Modern. Mm -hmm. Funny. Two. Uh -huh. Two. Funny. funny. Okay. We have funny. We have two syllables. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three or more Three syllables. Or more. Exactly how many do we have? Beautiful. Uh -huh. How many are there exactly? Beautiful. It's possible three in the union, the, the first syllable, view. View, yeah, we, all, all of this, all of view. this is one, yeah, all of this is one syllable, view. All of this is one syllable. And then three. we have beauty, three. and four. then four, three. Uh -huh. we have three syllables. Uh -huh. That's why I told you, in English, we work with sounds. In English, trabajamos por sonidos. No dividimos yeah. las letras igual que, igual que en español, okay? sino que acá trabajamos por sonidos. It's beautiful. Tenemos tres. All right. Let's continue. Important. Important. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Three syllables. Perfect. Sad. One. One. Okay, that's very easy. We have only one syllable. Um, good. One. one. Mm -hmm. Only one syllable, only one sound. Happy. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Happy. Okay, we have two syllables. Short. One. One. Uh -huh. one syllable, perfect. Clean. One. Mm -hmm. Only one syllable, clean. clean. Cold. One. One, uh -huh. one syllable. Hat. One. Okay, also one. Yeah, that's very easy, right? Crowded. Crowded. Two. Two. Crowded. Crowded. Mm -hmm. Two. Yes, two. We, have, we have two syllables. Crowded. Special. Three. Special. Three. Three. Yes, Special. Three. Yeah, we have three, because the S is only one sound, okay? Aquí en ese caso la letra S ya nos está comiendo una, un sonido. Special, special, uh -huh. long. One. One. Uh -huh. One syllable, perfect. Tall. One. Uh -huh. One syllable, excellent. Oops, I made a mistake, wait, give me a second. That's yellow. Okay. Two. <laughs> handsome. Handsome. Two. Three. And some. Two. Two. Uh -huh. Two syllables. Simple. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Two syllables. Excellent. Simple. Tidy. Two. Tidy. Uh huh. Do you know the meaning of tidy? No, what's the meaning? Tidy, I don't. That means uh, clean. That is a synonym of clean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it is a synonym of clean, tidy. The pronunciation is like this. Ty tidy, tidy. Uh -huh. That's the pronunciation, not the writing. The pronunciation, tidy. 
Tidy. Mm -hmm. Deep. deep. One. One. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of deep? The profundo. Food. Yeah, profundo. Okay, profundo. Mm -hmm. And the pronunciation is deep, like this. Okay, like when you go to the supermarket and you buy some snacks and you buy a dip. Okay. That's deep. Yeah, deep that's cheese. deep. Uh huh. That is a dip. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. So this is for you to remember about the syllables. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to use this a lot. And this is for using comparatives and superlatives. Okay. So it is important that we have a clear mind on how many syllables we have in adjectives. Okay. In this case, if you see, I, all the words that I have are adjectives. That means that I can describe a, a place. I can describe a person or I can describe an object with these adjectives, okay? Or with these words, okay? For example, big cell phone, uh, important person, um, a simple book, a cold place, okay? a cold house, a long house, a big house, etc. okay? I can use these words for describing objects, people, or places, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. Uh, thank you so much, okay? I hope you have a good night, everybody, and I hope to see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye. Bye. Have a good thank night. You. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye.